Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today we will be speaking about warpeds. Everything will be in details, how they work, on which kind of troops you should be using warpeds, how to level up them and so on. Uh, we will be going in a detailed explanation about warpeds because it's a new feature in the game. And it will be fun to understand uh, how it works and how it will be working in the future. First of all, we need to understand uh, which kind of uh, warpeds will be usable for a which kind of troop type. For example, here uh, the Berserker Fedrake, uh, as you can see, it's a physical damage uh, skills. Uh, in my opinion, Berserker Fedrake will be good for cavalry heroes because it has a big damage factor, uh, all the skills are uh, physical and it will be working pretty good with cavalry units. Uh, Sapphire Drake, Fair Drakes, it's the same type of family Fire Drakes, uh, is mainly for mages, as you can see, uh, every skill is magic skill, uh, so in my opinion this will be for magic. Uh, regarding a marksman, uh, in my opinion, Snow Peak Rock will be for marksmen. There is a, two kinds of rocks in the game: Golden Rock and Snow Peak Rock. Uh, Snow Peak Rock will be better for marksmen because uh, it has a defensive break, which is amazing for marksmen. It has a skill damage factor uh, on the first skill. Again, it has a defensive break, 20% for 20 seconds. 20 seconds is a big amount of time for a fighting. Uh, and again, skill damage factor. So, uh, Berserker Frederick is a cavalry uh, pet. Sapphire Frederick is mages. And Snow Peak Rock uh, is for marksmen. Well, uh, Golden Rock can be used for a marksman too. Uh, but, in my opinion... Uh, defensive break is a priority for marksmen, as you can as you can already understand. Nico and Kinara is a great uh, combination for marksmen, just because Nico is giving defensive break to enemies. Uh, regarding cavalry heroes, beer and the second beer, like yellow beer, is good uh, because it's uh, uh, giving your uh, troops health is giving your troops more tankiness and so on. So we already understand which kind of uh, pet will be good for your troop type. My main priority is marksman, so I will be using Snow Peak Rock or Golden Rock. But uh, Snow Peak Rock is better just because we have a defensive break uh, in the skills. Uh, let's go to the pet sanctuary to go in full details how everything works. This is how pet sanctuary actually looks. Here is my pets. I have a sapphire drake, uh, I have a berserker fed drake, and I have a snow peak rock. So as you can see, every every kind of pet have a has a base attributes. At, at first, when you look, it's pretty small amount. If we consider that my Sapphire Frederick is 22 level, it has a 22 intelligence, 20 spirit, 10 luck, uh, and so on. But there is a question. If my Drake is 22 level, why my stats are so low? This is just an interface change. Like I, th I, I, I think they will change the base attributes interface, but you need to multiply 22 to 2.2. That's like X. In the future, I think they will change the base attributes uh, interface. It will be, uh, it, there's a, here will be a better and bigger number. But for now, uh, don't get confused. If you see 22 plus 2.2, which means X, you need to multiply it. Uh, as you understand, uh, there is a priority, like this Sapphire Fire Drake, uh, has an intelligence and spirit high priority. Uh, how these stats work? Uh, you need to check skills. For example, uh, Pain Bloom uh, is a damage skill for mages because it's a magic and it's determined by intelligence, which means uh, as higher your intelligence will be, the higher skill damage will have the Pain Bloom. Second is intelligence uh, skill because it's uh, magic. 
uh, it will give your Legion magic attack plus 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 might sound like a low amount but uh, it's determined by intelligence right a higher your intelligence will be better stats your uh, skill will have and third skill is not actually a mage skill it's strength skill which is giving defense defense penetration that's actually good for a fighter but there is one uh, trick regarding skills uh, one single pet can be can use only uh, three same type skills for example my fire drake uh, can only use three intelligence skills and other skills will be uh, with my own wish like whichever i will want as you can see, here is only like one, two, three, four, five slots, but it doesn't mean there won't be more. Now, there is a button regenerate. What regenerate means? For example, right now my Frederick is epic and it has three skills. If I will regenerate, click on regenerate. If if I had the item, it will change uh, randomly the same Drake but different qualities. Uh, which means well, if I will be lucky and if you're, you will be lucky, whenever you're going to regenerate your pet, there is a small chance that you're going to get higher quality, different base stats, different skills, uh, different uh, skill slots, for example, right? Yesterday, I tried to regenerate my Frederick and I actually got a bad one. Like, this one is elite with a horrible stats if we compare to mine and same skills if i wanted to save my elite quality uh, Frederick, i would click on save and this one would be mine but if i don't want to regenerate and don't want to swap my pet or his skills i will just don't click on save and whenever i will have more regenerate items i will click more on a regenerate uh, regarding uh, the interface about pets, uh, every time you're gonna go to the pet sanctuary, you will see there will be items dropped. You need to click on the uh, items and your pets will be able to level up. You won't be able to use your pets uh, pet until it's a two level. Like from level two, you will be able to uh, use it as a uh, fighting pet and it will be following you through the battlefield let's say uh, you are you have a uh, too many pets and you don't want to have like every single pet that you have in your uh, inventory it's pretty simple you will just click on this button it's kind of leave right and whenever you will confirm it will randomly it might give you a skill uh, or it will give you some item for example I have uh, I clicked on leave on a couple of pets. Uh, some of them gave me some skills to use in the future. Some of, some of them gave me regenerate uh, items to use in the future, right? Uh, for example, I will show you. Here are the skills which I got from the pets who I make them to leave my sanctuary, right? And with these skills, I can use them on a different pets or I can sell them, right? Let's see, if I click on sell, you can see uh, my skills are worth 240, I don't remember the name of the item, uh, coin, and the second skill is 40 coin. Uh, if I if there is a, some skills that you want to have, here is a shop. Uh, I guess it's how the economy of these coins work. You are selling your pets, you are getting skills, you are selling your skills, you are uh, collecting the coins and then you are building your perfect uh, pet with the perfect skills. Always remember that you can only have three skills of the same type. For example, if your pet has a uh, six slot you can only have three strengths and the other three skills will be different ones like it might be luck it might be intelligence it might be something else uh, well if you are player of the physical i mean marksman if you are cavalry well it will be easy for you to understand you need to choose strengths uh, skills like for example manic might will be giving your legion physical attack uh, determined by strengths uh physical 
uh, well, this shield penetrate penetration is enemy legion defense penetration for 0.8% determined by strength. So, uh, the skills are pretty useful. Well, don't misunderstood the low amount of uh, stats because it's always determined by your strength, which means higher your strength is higher your st higher stats on your skills. Uh, skills also have a um, stars like for example right now I will click on quality 2 well we don't have three star skills yet uh, these skills are one star and it will be cheaper and remember every day there are the skills of price of the skills will go up here you can see the price is 0.00% which means it's a base uh, price of the skills uh, also, it is important to know that you will be only available to use only three three star skills per season, uh, five two star uh, skills per season, and one stars are unlimited. So keeping that in mind, uh, whenever these three stars will be available, choose wisely, right? Because uh, for a single season, you will be able to get only three. Uh, two stars it's pretty narrow you can have a five uh, there is a lot of choices here a lot of expensive choices uh, and it will be easy for you to know how to uh, build your like you are just building your second character that's how I see it also you might uh, ask uh, like physical okay it's for for a cavalry it's for marksman uh, magic is of course for magic heroes but what about tanks, right? Uh, tanks has, uh, give me a second, I will find its endurance, as I remember. Mm, like uh, luck, for example, luck. Luck is like a, mm, stats, uh, like physical is like pure physical heroes, Mag magic is magic heroes, luck is for the uh, stats and buffs, buffs uh, and so on. And regarding uh, endurance, like endurance is for tanks, it will be giving you like defense percentage, you health. Uh, as you can see here, endurance gives a, um, a like legion. We're gonna take six percent less uh, pet skill damage. So uh, endurance is tanks. Magic intelligence is for mages. Uh, physical is for cavalry and for a marksman luck is in general just buffs for your legion and uh, there is a couple of more like agility we don't have any skills for agility and i'm sure they, they will add more and we don't have spirit so strange is marksman uh, cavalry even for infantry intelligence is for mages endurance is for tanks Luck is for buffs and spirit and agility. We don't have it yet. So this is like pretty simple. Mm, you are just choosing whichever uh, skills you prefer to have on your uh, pet. If it's a, mm, a fighting pet, if like for example for cavalry or, or for marksman, you're gonna go for strength, you're gonna go legend attack, you're gonna go for shield penetration and so on. If you have a magic uh, intelligence, a pet you're gonna go for these blooms like like i have for my uh, sapphire frederick and also like as you can see this is a berserker frederick and this is sapphire frederick uh, which means there is a family of uh, war pets this is for one one family and also golden rock and snow peak rock is from one uh, rock family uh, what you can do you know, with the same family uh, member pets is like you can change the skills like for example if I will have a sapphire fridge rake like same fridge rake here and I want to exchange some skills uh, here I will have a same sapphire fridge rake with a single skill and it will be transferred uh, like from one to another this uh, skill inheritance uh, feature I wouldn't recommend yet because uh, as I have heard from players, it's pretty buggy and like it needs some work. And so at first I, I will not be trying to do anything here because I will be waiting for developers to say something about this. 
because like the warped who transfers their skills will disappear afterwards i don't like it if it will be like this i'm not sure how often i will be using this feature but it feature it, it it's here and we need to talk about right so regarding skill inheritance i would recommend you guys to not touch it until there will be more clearance how it works and how it should work should work right uh, we already understand that here sometimes there will be some dropped items we're gonna click it and your uh, pets will be generating some xp uh, also here you can gift uh, the meals to your pet and it will level up your um, pets actually some uh, food is preferable for a different pets and you can read it from here uh, also here is a claim gift it's like a boxes like in other, in every other game uh, here is chances what you will be able to get and actually here is the chances that you will get three star skills some food uh, and of course regenerate item and like you can already understand the most valuable from here will be three star skills right and i have not gotten it yet I, I i wish i will get it in the future uh how in general we will be able to get pets in our sanctuary right right now i have a uh like every uh, midnight whenever there is a reset i'm able to catch three pets uh if there will be there will be too many pets i'm able to make them live uh and now let's see how it is a it's possible to capture pets here it's like in the search bar from darkling patrols creatures darkling guards is a beast you can actually choose whichever pet you want like for example snowy croc right you're gonna uh, click on search and the higher level of the pet is here there is a better chance you will get a better quality uh pet as people say from 24 to 25 level there is a higher chance to get a legendary one i captured a lot of 23 to 22 level pets and uh, like i got only two epic ones and all of them are advanced but it, like it's a random whenever you're gonna click on capture like without capture if you're gonna click on attack you will just kill the beast right uh click on capture if you have uh, like if you have item to capturing click on capture your army will come your army will be fighting with the beast and whenever we kill the beast uh, the your army will automatically capture the warped and after the warped is captured it will be appeared here uh, like any of these trade first of all you need to understand guys that uh, in the early days it's better to have as much pet as, pets as possible because it's a reset day uh, like every pet is getting more xp if in the sanctuary there is more and more pets mm, uh, what else we can speak about regarding pets uh, we spoke about skills we spoke about regenerate we sp spoke about this uh, skill inheritance we spoke how you can make them live. Uh, we said which kind of trait will be good for a legion type. Mm -hmm. Also, this will be updating regularly. Like uh, this is a new way of developers to update the game. Uh, it's a pretty fun. Uh, like in my opinion, your main goal should be to get as much pets as possible. Like preferably the highest quality. Here, uh, right now, I had five slots. I bought one. Like, you need to have this item to get even more. If you don't have this item, you're just gonna pay 20 gems. Um, I'm not going to pay 20 gems for this at, at right now. I will try to use my gems for a different reason. Also, uh, check your policies. Here in your policy, here is new policy called Administrative Excellence. Uh, it will allow us to get plus one uh, capacity to uh, capture the uh, pets, right? So at first, collect your pets. Try to be at least epic. Uh, like every time you're gonna collect your pet, check its uh, skill. Uh, if it has a great skills, great. Like for example, my Berserker Frederick has a good skills. It's luck. It's luck. 
and this one is intelligence i tr i will try to change it but i don't know i like uh, luck and luck is for buffs and fair drake is a physical pet uh, here i have intelligence i have intelligence and here is strength i can have third intelligence and like in my opinion if we are going for a magic uh, pet uh, i would i would like to have a uh, three intelligence skills and three luck skills right luck will give us buffs and intelligence will give us give up firepower for a magic heroes how you can make the patch deputy it's really easy like same as you are doing with your artifact you're gonna click it like if i want to remove my frederick i will remove if there is nothing there will be equip and whenever i will be outside of my city my pet will be following us right now i will make you see it like as you see this is my frederick it's it will be fighting with us it will be flying with us and so on uh, this is all i find out so far regarding uh, pets i hope it will be uh, helpful for you guys because there is a lot of new stuff, a lot of new features. Uh, like generally, I think it's really, really fun. Like collect as much uh, uh, regenerate items, regenerate potions because it will be most fun. Like imagine you have a hundred regenerate potion and you are going for a legendary war pet and you are clicking regenerate, regenerate. You are comparing stats, you are comparing skills and so on it's pretty fun it's pretty good addition to the game um, and so far I, I, I have a great time playing this game uh, with every single new edition mm. if you have any more questions feel free to ask feel free to like even give me advice if you have a better idea how these warpets work and how it should work uh, this game is a learning curve uh, everybody is learning whenever a new update is coming because it's not easy to understand the whole point of the update in a single or couple of days. Uh, and of course, as always, I still have not paid a single dollar. I'm full free to play with 15.5 million power. I don't know how I got there, but here we are. Uh, so, this is my video about Warpets. If I will have a better uh, advice, I will do more. But for now, this is it. I hope you guys liked my video. Bye-bye.